So you're flying through Atlanta and you're gonna be in the D terminal. Well, what are your food options when you're here? Let's show you what your options are. So when you come with that escalator into D, one of the first thing you're gonna see is Einstein Brothers Bagel. So you can get that, it's very popular in the morning, not always open late night, you have that. If you want some a little more fresh, you got Garbanzo Mediterranean. So if you want a gyro, you can grab some of those. As you go down, there's also a Familia Pizza. So you want to get your slices of pizza or stromboli. That's actually very popular with my kids down there. Also farther down, you have the Freshens, which is basically smoothies and more healthier choices. You have that. If you want a really adult thing, they actually have a bar right here in D, right above the escalators. So you have that option as well to get a little bit more adult beverages. So this side of the food court, when you're coming up from the escalator, you also have the market, the food and wine, and actually they have amazing sandwiches. That's like one of my go-to places. So if you can't get the chicken and beer because you don't have a lot of time, the dark market by food and wine, that's the one where I always get really good sandwiches. So you just have to order them, make it right here. You got a nice little place to sit, but these are good sandwiches here. So you have something good that not a lot of people are going to, not a long line. I recommend that one here indeed. If you want to sit down and relax, Philip Seafood, this is where my mom and I usually go when we come here, just have a sit down being served and not have to worry about doing anything. That's a nice little option up there. And of course the food court wouldn't be complete without the Atlanta Market. Just another kiosk of snacks and stuff. They all basically have all the same things. So once you see one kiosk, you pretty much see the same thing everywhere else. Okay, so if you're leaving the food court area, you're gonna have to walk down. So one time you can go down towards D1 and we're gonna show you the foods here. And then we're gonna go down to the other end and show you from like D35 coming back to the food court. So let's show you what's down this way. So now that we're the other side of D, here at D34, you got a little Wolfgang Puck kiosk. It's got sandwiches and little snacks kind of stuff. You're not gonna get the famous pizza though, so sadly, that's not there. So across from D33, you have the coffee bean and tea leaf. So if you wanna get coffee, tea, they also have baked goods, so you have that option. So across from D30, you got a Chipotle, but I'll tell you, if it's late night, sometimes they run out of beans or meat or whatever, so just have a heads up. There's also a little kiosk here if you wanna get some snacks too, across from D30. Across from D29, you have Grindhouse Killer Burgers. This is one of the places that actually opened up on a Sunday night, so if you're here late night, this might be one of your better bets getting food in the D concourse. So across from D26, you got the Mustard Seat, which is a barbecue place, not bad. Also, it has a late, later night bar if you're looking for a drink for a late night flight or before a late night flight. And my son Liam loves the Auntie Anne's right there. Strange hours sometimes, but that's also across from D24. So across from the Sky Club at D25, you actually have vending machines, so you're gonna grab a quick drink or snack. So across from D21, you also have another little kiosk. You can get some food in there, some snacks, some sandwiches, stuff. That's actually a pocket place for us when everything else is closed on a Sunday night. That's one of your few choices for foods here in D. So as you get towards D8A, you've got the Atlanta Braves barbecue, which is really good to go to if you want burgers and stuff. You got a Popeye's chicken here at 08A. And then you also have the Asian chow, which actually has decent like fast food Chinese food and Asian food, which has been pretty good. But you have that. There's also the Wolfgang Puck Express. So if you actually want to get a little bit more tasty stuff from him than just kiosk stuff, you have to come to the other side of D to get that. Also, if you want some yogurt, yep, Fabio across from D8 right there to help you out. So if you're looking for coffee and bakes good, you have Harvest Ground, which is by D9. Also, you have Atlanta today, so again, if you want some of the kiosk kind of food, the snacks kind of stuff, they have that there. And if you're going to take even more escalators, you can go to Buffalo Wild Wings through there, or you can go to Terrapin Brewery and get some beers there. So there are some other options if you're here indeed, you want to get a little more sit down, relax versus, you know, eating with 400 other people and having people wondering when you're going to get up. And then to finish things off, here at the end of this side of D Terminal is chicken and beer. This is Johnson's favorite thing. If you go there, they have really good southern foods. So if you want to get some really good southern stuff, you haven't had it yet when you're flying through Atlanta, go to Chicken Beer by D5. This is her hands down best place to go. Also, good cocktails. So that helps you know what to get when you're here looking for food in Terminal D in Atlanta. If you want more, remember, there's also terminals T, A, B, C, and then we're already in D, E, N, F. So you do have options. So see if some other videos to help you out know what eats there, okay? So otherwise, hop on a plane train, or go find some food around the airport. Bye.